Only the region of 1,500 caravans every year are stolen in the UK. Recreational vehicles are as popular with thieves as high-end supercars and very easy to sell on in the UK or abroad. This recent tweet shows a caravan that was recovered by police about to board a ferry at Dover. It was clearly destined for foreign markets. So July is the most likely month for caravans to be stolen and unfortunately in Greater Manchester, the area where I live, is the region where most caravans are stolen every year. Recreational vehicles with a tracker fitted have a 95% chance of being recovered, but only 10% of recreational vehicles in the UK actually have trackers fitted. In an ideal world, we wouldn't have to worry about security, but the truth is that caravan theft is absolutely rampant. In order to keep your caravan in your possession, you have to absolutely have your wits about you at all times. This means attaching the hitch lock when you stop at the service station if you leave the caravan unattended, it means putting the locks on your caravan the first thing you do when you get home, even before unloading the car. YouTube is littered with examples of robberies, caught on film where an owner has turned the back for a moment and a thief has pounced and been waiting for the chance to hitch up and drive away with the poor owner's pride and joy. So I'm going to talk you through today how you can secure your caravan and the basics of caravan security. So the first point to consider is that security is very much like an onion. The more layers you have, the harder it is for a would-be thief to take off with your caravan. Having said that, you will have to decide what's a reasonable level of caravan security that you can comfortably maintain. After all, there's no point in investing in security if you don't use it. So security is a bit like the old joke, the two guys who see a lion running towards them, one sets off running and the other shouts, why, why are you running? You'll never outrun the lion. The one that's already running turns and shouts back, I don't need to be faster than the lion, I only need to be faster than you. What this highlights is that caravans will inevitably get stolen, but you just need to ensure that your caravan isn't the easiest target and hopefully thieves will look elsewhere. So CRIS, the Central Registration and Identification Scheme, or CRIS for short, is a register of UK touring caravan keepers. Similar to the DBLA, but not a government organisation, it's a private company. When you buy your caravan, you can register key details with CRIS, which provide records of registered keepers and a means of returning your caravan to you in the event of it being stolen. Police have access to the database and will check with Chris if they recover a caravan. You also get stickers through the windows with QR codes and VIN numbers, which make it very easy if it is found to trace that back to you. So you can call the contact centre or register your caravan online. It's inexpensive too, at just £19.95 as a one-off fee. You can find Chris at www.chris.co.uk. Insurance. Surprisingly, it isn't a legal requirement to insure your caravan in the UK. You of course need vehicle insurance, which has to provide you with cover whilst towing. And as I previously said, there's circa 1,500 caravans stolen in the UK every year, so it's highly advisable that you insure your caravan, especially if it's a high value caravan, of course. The cost of insurance will vary depending on where you keep the caravan, the security devices that you have, and of course, the value of the caravan. Often it's cheaper with your insurance to keep the caravan at a Kosoa storage site, Clearly they specialise in providing secure space with gates, security and it can, often can just be too awkward for thieves if they can pick off caravans off people's drives much easier. So insurers will frequently set expectations around security standards for, for storage sites and devices such as, such as locks. Whilst insurance isn't a deterrent to thieves, clearly it will provide you with peace of mind that you will get something back if your caravan is stolen. You can expect to pay somewhere in the region of £250 upwards for annual comprehensive cover. And as with your car, you can take out lots of additional extras, such as additional legal cover, gap insurance and, and, and much more. Wheel locks. These come in a variety of types, from wheel clamps to devices that attach through the wheels or on top of wheel nuts, etc. Here's an example of a Malenko wheel lock, which attaches to the wheel nut and feeds a bar through the wheel and under the chassis. These are relatively inexpensive devices ranging from around £30 up to a couple of hundred pounds. From memory, we got this lock for around £50 and it's gold rated with Casola. There's also a diamond rated if you want to spend more on a lock. A note of caution, if your caravan is stolen without any of the security devices that you've stated will be used to your insurer, they may refuse to pay out. Caravans also get stolen off campsites, so ensure these are fitted when you're away, otherwise you might find yourself staying in a hotel. Hitch locks. These devices prevent would-be thieves from hitching your caravan and towing it away. They achieve this by locking the hitch in a, in a position over a plastic tow ball, rendering the hitch unusable. Here's an example of a Malenko hitch lock, which will frequently see used by other caravans. If you're storing your caravan on your drive, it's a good idea to face the hitch away from the house or away from, from, from the road, just to make it a little bit harder for a would-be thief to hitch up and tow the caravan away. 
A drive post is another good visible deterrent to this way thieves by hitching up your car. Having said that, it's not unheard of for thieves to actually bypass hitch locks by chaining the caravan to a toll bar and grinding the hitch lock off once they've got it in their possession. I think this lock cost us around about £40, so it's relatively inexpensive as well. Chassis locks. So these devices are generally considered better than wheel locks, as the name suggests they lock against the chassis of the caravan and through the wheel. Not all caravans are chassis lock compatible, so depending on whether you have the receiver, and you'll need alloy wheels also to allow the lock to pass through. So here's an example of a full stop chassis lock. This mechanism screws into the receiver, then the lock attaches like so. Chassis locks are usually more expensive than wheel locks, so expect to pay somewhere in the region of one to 200 pounds. Trackers, immobilizers, and alarms. These security devices frequently come as a bundle, so I've put these three together. You will frequently hear the term thatch and approved following the description of these systems, and these are usually recognized and approved by insurers. As you would expect, these devices render the caravan immovable in the event of a theft, in much the same way they do in a car, or alert you to a theft in progress, for example. Alarms can be fitted to sound if anybody tampers with the outside or with internal motion sensors um, to tell you if a break-in or a robbery is in progress. Trackers generally come with an upfront cost and an ongoing monthly payment to maintain the tracking facility. It's always worth stickering the caravan with your tracker details as you'd clearly prefer that, that the tracker is a deterrent rather than a recovery tool. If the worst happens and your caravan is stolen, you stand a much better chance of recovery if you have a tracker fitted. Realistically, you're looking at around £500 upwards for a professionally fitted system plus a monthly fee. Now that would generally include the immobiliser, the tracker and the alarm. You can fit systems yourself and get inexpensive kits off the internet, but they may not be recognised by insurers. It's not uncommon for insurance premiums to reduce by up to 20% when devices are professionally fitted with approved systems. Caravan steady locks, sometimes known as caravan leg locks. These are very simple and quick to fit. They lock the legs in a down position, immobilising the caravan essentially. It's another visible anti-theft device and again, just makes things a little bit hard for thieves. Just locking one caravan steady is usually sufficient. These cost in the region of £30 each, so clearly if you want to put one on each leg, it would be £120. Door locks. If you're concerned about break-ins, then aftermarket caravan door locks can be a good option. Most caravan doors can be easily prized open, so the best thing to do is avoid leaving valuables inside your caravan in the first place. Most thieves actually want the caravan itself and not the contents, but break-ins do happen. These devices are generally anywhere from £40 upwards, and many caravan owners choose to fit these themselves or have them fitted at their annual service. Although this does mean drilling a hole in the caravan wall, which means that it needs to be well sealed. In summary, these are all the points that I consider as essential caravan security considerations and all worth pondering or further investigation. I really hope this video was useful for you, so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you did find it useful. We're a young channel, keen for the channel to grow, so we really appreciate your support. Thanks very much for watching, we're Tony Mad and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.